Hi, I'm Richard Slade of the Seaward Group, and in this short video, we're going to introduce you to the Prime Test 100 Portable Appliance Tester. So here we have the Seaward Prime Test 100 Pat Tester. The Prime Test 100 is the second instrument uh, within the Prime Test range. The Prime Test 100 is ideally suited for uh, low to medium volume testers. Um, small businesses may be looking to carry out their own portable appliance testing in-house and tradesmen again may be looking to carry out pat testing of their own equipment. The Prime Test 100 is a full pat tester in that it will actually display numerical values for your test results. Uh, it is battery operated using six AA batteries. Um, we have actually had customers report back that they get in excess of 8,000 tests off a set of batteries. Um, it is three buttons there for simple one button operation for your class one test, your class two test and your IEC lead extension core test. There is a large LCD display there uh, for obviously displaying your test results and like all testers within the prime test range it has Seaworth's very own built-in ZAP technology. This actually ensures that you get reliable and cons consistent earth bond readings for every test. The Prime Test 100 can be used with uh, the Seaward PAT Mobile app. The PAT Mobile app is great for logging all of your test results, any photographs or visual inspections or failures. And the mobile app itself is available free of charge on Android or iOS devices. So, to show you how quick and simple it is to use the Seaward Prime Test 100, we're going to carry out a Class 1 test on this kettle. So here I have uh, my Class 1 kettle connected up to my Prime Test 100 through the 3-pin socket at the front. I have my earth bond lead connected to the element um, inside the kettle, and obviously I've ensured the kettle is in the on position. So simply to commence with the test, all I would do is hit my Class 1 test key, and it will continue through the sequence of tests. First show my earth continuity reading, with a pass or fail indication. Then move in quickly on to the insulation resistance test. Again, like the earth continuity test, give me a pass or fail indication at the end. And then it will run the substitute leakage test. At the end of that, it will then give me an overall pass or fail for that appliance.